everyone, so today I'll be doing a foundation routine for you guys, and it's on a foundation that I absolutely love. Um, you'll see me do my blush and like my powder, concealer, stuff like that. I'm really focused on this foundation because I'm seriously in love with it. And it's the number 7 Stay Perfect Perfection Continue Foundation. Um, I'm in 30 Almond. And if you go into Target, it's like in the Boots aisle or number 7. I can't remember what they call themselves, but one of those. And I'm seriously in love with that. It's SPF 15 and it says for a long lasting flawless finish. I do like completely agree with that. When I read the back of this, I was kind of nervous because it says it's a moisturizing foundation. I have barely, very oily skin. But I do love this and it doesn't like make it even oilier, you know, like greasy and nasty or anything like that. It just really complements my skin so well. This is the bottle it comes in. I really love it. I think it's super like chic and pretty and just gorgeous. The best thing about this foundation is it comes with a pump. So I really, really, truly love that. It's easy for me to like save on the product and like, you know, I know how much I need to use now after experimenting with it for a while. I love this stuff. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And um, I'm so happy I finally did the video. I've been meaning to do it for a while now. I just haven't had the time. So, yeah, this is basically my flawless foundation. i just go ahead and let you see it close up. I really, really love this foundation. Go try it out, and if you do, let me know. It's $13.99 at Target. And, yeah, and by the way, I mentioned this on Twitter. I will be doing a little video probably here this weekend. I have to film it and then edit it, so who knows. But it will be up sometime soon. Um, but I am getting rid of some clothes. If you're interested, I'll have a video on it and we'll do everything PayPal and business and we'll just, you know, it'll be more in the video. But I'm going to do is kind of like model it, I guess. Just show you what it looks like on the body because I think taking pictures, you don't really get to see what it really looks like on. Um, so I'm going to be doing that and, you know, there will be more information on that video. But just keep your eyes out if you're interested. A lot of questions whenever I don't have my engagement ring on. I am still engaged. Engagement ring right now is actually in the bathroom, which is where it usually is. And, like, I don't want to get product and stuff on it, so. And I forget to put it on, so I forgot. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like it if you are wanting to see a skincare video. So like this video if you want to see the skincare. And yeah, I will okay, so see you on the next one. The thing I do Bye. before I apply foundation or anything is apply a primer. And the one I use and been using for a while is this Essence of Beauty Airbrush Primer. I really like it because it's a gel uh, primer, so it's really great for oily skin and stuff. And it really keeps my foundation on for a while. So I've been loving this, and I got it for five dollars at CVS. Not sure if they still had it. I got it a while back, um, and I really haven't seen it since. So I don't know where the heck it went, but that's where I got it. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake up the foundation. And then I'm just gonna do one full pump on the back of my hand, like that. And take my brush and just dab it in there. And then I'm going to apply this all over the bottom half of my face. And you can see I have redness and stuff. I don't think I have rosacea. I just have red, redness on my skin, especially when after I apply a primer, I get really red skin. So I don't know why, but I do use this thing. So I just focus on working that in all over my skin. Oops, sorry about the light. Holy cow. I don't know what's going on. Take it down my neck a little bit. A little bit on my earlobes. So, and then I'm going to take like basically a half a pump. So I just need about that much. I don't like a lot. And I'm putting this on my forehead. Uh oh, got hair right there. I need to get me one of those like stand up mirrors like from Con Air or whatever. That would be really nice. I wish I had like um, an Australian accent. I love those accents. They're so cute. Okay. So this foundation does dry pretty quickly, which I do like. 
um, because that means I don't have to sit around and wait for forever to like put on my powder and stuff. Like normally I would let this sit for a minute, but I don't really have to with this foundation. And you can kind of see, like I wish the camera really just showed you guys how great this foundation is, but it's like such a flawless finish. And I, I mean this camera doesn't like just show you how flawless it is, but it really is. And I really, really love it, um, especially having oily skin. It's just been my favorite so far. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a concealer. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I kind of don't like have a set concealer or set blush that I use every single day. Um, that would just kind of be pointless because I keep buying stuff. I'm going to use my, I'll use my MAC one. My MAC Select Cover Up in NW30. And I'm going to take my little concealer brush like this from Sonia Kashuk. And a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. So just, I do about that much, like little bitty dots like that. Right where, oh, oh that's going to be way too much. You see that? That is way too much. Take some of that off. Okay, so now I'm just going to work that into my bottom, or into, under my eyes, under, in my bottom, whatever. Um in my inner corner because I do get a little bit darker right there so I'm just kind of patting and rubbing it in especially when I get to where my makeup's done I kind of stay I'm a little careful because I don't want to smudge you know my makeup all around so <laughs> my dogs are working sorry when the big dog barks, the puppy thinks she can bark too, so she's trying to like be just like them. Then I take a little bit over my redness, and I just do the same on this side. Just kind of pat it back down to my redness. I feel like this has a full coverage finish for me. Um, it probably wouldn't be enough for some people, but I really like it. It works for me because I don't have like acne really bad or anything like that. I just have like a few acne scars, but that's about it. Just gonna rub out the edges of my finger, especially in the inner corner, just kind of pat that back in and rub that part out. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is set my concealer, which is a very important part, you know, when you're applying concealer and stuff. So, the one I've been using a lot lately is this e.l.f. Um, High Definition Powder, and this is like $3, and it's really nice. I did only pull the little flat back, not even halfway, because it's a very messy product. I did keep the puff, and what I do is I take this e.l.f. blush brush, and this is what I use for, I don't use it for blush. I tap some um, of this transparent powder on it, then I tap it on the sponge, and so I get about this much, and I just pat that in my concealer. Wherever I put it, I just kind of pat that back on, like so. And then what I do, since I pat it on the puff, I don't have to go back into the big jar, I just pat this puff and get more product out, so. I don't know. I really like this stuff. Works for me just kind of go my T-zone real quickly. But just pat that concealer, la 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 This is like the most important part of like your concealer. You need to set it. So, put this bad boy back up. Okay, so I'm going to go. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to put powder all over my face. Oh, I take my Kabuki. This is again from e.l.f. and I take this powder, it's the Cover Talks Tin Powder from Physicians Formula. Seriously, been loving this stuff. Um, it is amazing. It's supposed to like minimize wrinkles and stuff. I don't really notice that, I really don't care about it. Um, but this has such an amazing finish for my skin and I just love it. And I love transparent powders for whenever I use foundation because I don't want to put like even more color on top and then it looks cakey. So. Um, I just take this powder with my Kabuki brush, and this is in transparent medium. Tap off, and just quickly buff into my skin. Down my neck. Forehead. Forehead. 
Okay, so the next thing is blush. Like I said, I don't have like a set blush I use. But today I will be using Max Dolly Mix. <clears throat> Just going to take that on my brush and apply it to my cheeks. This has got to be one of my favorite blushes. Um, Love Rush too. I just am, am in love with them. So, okay. Ooh. And that's pretty much it. I do add some bronzer, which if I do use bronzer, it's Nars Casino, and it looks like this. I don't contour every day, but I will take that same Kabuki brush, and I'll just like hit my chest really quickly. My neck. And I like tap off a little bit and then just graze my face just really quickly. Like that. So there you have it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's been requested a lot. And I was excited to do it, especially with this foundation I've been loving from um, the drugstore or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.